Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial where I'll show you how you can change your background from something boring, just like the one I'm shooting right now, to something more interesting, like maybe a jungle, or you can change it to a mountain, or maybe we can change it to a beach, or let's go back to my office. So that's how we can change around the backgrounds while being at the same place. But for this, you need two things. One is this green screen that I'm recording this video in. And the other is uh, editing software. Now, how to do it step by step, I'll show you in this video. So if that sounds something interesting to you, then please stick on with me till the end of this video. And also, if this is something that you wish to get notified on, then consider subscribing to this channel and hitting the bell notification icon because in this channel, you get this kind of tutorial that can help you grow and can help you to make money online. With that being said, let's jump into my desktop and show you step by step on how to do this magic. How to change your background using green screen and any video editor that you like. Hey guys, this is Shyan from ReviewShyan.com and today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use green screen to actually remove the background, whatever you are seeing right now, to anything that you want. It can be an office background, it can be a mountainous background, it can be a natural background, whatever you wish to, you can do that. It can be a still background or even a video as well. So if that sounds interesting, then please stick on with me because this will be a to the point video, no BS, step by step on how you can create magical backgrounds using green screen. So without any further ado, let's dive inside of this tutorial. So to do this, you would require two things. Namely, one is your green screen. This is going to be a very important stuff. Now I'm repeatedly saying it as green screen, but remember you can do it with any color screen that you wish to, but it has to have two qualities. Number one, it has to be an uh, even one in terms of color and thickness. And secondly, it should be opaque one. It shouldn't be transparent, right? So in this video, I have used green screen. You can use a black screen. You can use anything that you wish to. But during the chroma key application, you need to pick that color. So I'll show you, don't worry. And the second thing that you need is a video editor. Now I'm using Filmora. Now this is a paid tool. However, it requires a one-time small payment and it has some amazing, amazing features. Like you can integrate your stock media at one click over here. It can be videos, it can be images. This can help you in creating B-rolls within your video. Then it has audio effects, like it has sound effects, background music that you can add without any copyright. Then you can add brilliant titles as overlays within your video. So this is another great point for which you can use Filmora. And there is transitions. Apart from that, there are turn off done for you elements. And you can also have effects which are already preset, which you can apply in one click. Now, this is not a Filmora tutorial, so I'm not going through that. But I just wanted to let you know that it is a good tool to have in case if you are interested in video editing, then you can check it down in the description link. I'll leave a link to Filmora. And you can check out for yourself how cool Filmora is for editing. Editing. With that being said, now in today's topic, we will first of all insert a media. Now remember, as I told you, it has to be a green screen video. So we will go over to our recordings and in here, as you can see, I have already created a green screen video. So let me import this and let me add this to the track. So here you go. And here you can see it is a green screen in my background, right? I hope you are able to see it. That's quite cool, right? So now I have added this video layer in here and it has got some audio as well. Let me play this. Hey guys, now you can see me right in this mountainous background. So I'm getting enjoying. And as you can see, I'm telling that welcome to this video in the mountainous background, right? Whereas the background is a simple green screen. Now let me show you how you can actually insert a mountainous background. So for that, we'll go over to stock media. Now, if you are using any free tool as well, there is the free tool called Shortcut, which I like very much. It's completely free to use, but there you don't have integration with this stock media. So you need to arrange all these stock footages in first before actually heading in so if you are using that kind of tool then also it will work don't worry so in here we will search for something called mountain now in here you can see there are a ton of videos related to mountain and all of these are high quality videos so it looks quite amazing right so you can actually go ahead and choose any of them that you wish to say for example this one looks good so let me download this so this looks good and it has a kind of motion to it as well so let me add this now remember whenever you are adding this it will actually come up as a top layer but it should not be the top layer the top layer should be your own video so let me reposition this let me drag this to the top layer and as you can see 
see now the bottom layer is the background and the top layer is my video right so as you can see my video also ends over here if it would not have if the video would have been longer all that i needed to do is right click over here and click duplicate and you can see that the clip has been duplicated so in this way you can actually go ahead and add whatever length you wish to so now over here let me make a cut so here you are this one will be deleted and this one will be deleted right so now we have the two layers which are exactly in the same position so now if we play this you can see that the green screen is still in place because my top layer is this video layer now this will take us to the step two which is actually applying a filter which is called chroma key now to apply this in different tool there will be a different way but remember the principle will be the same whatever tool you might be using the chroma key you need to find out so in filmora what it is done is that you can double click on your clip and it will open up all these properties over here and in here you can find something called chroma key right just click on this and you can see there is some effect which has taken place right but still it is not clear so if we want to make it clear we can just come over here and play around with this stuff first of all is offset now the higher the offset is now we can just increase it to see what effect it takes you can see wow amazing right now the background is fully visible quite cool now if we increase the tolerance let me show you this one as well if we increase the tolerance then you can see it goes away so we need to fix it so that we get the perfect things over here so if you can see over here there are some feathers right so we need to actually remove this so let me just decrease this tolerance a bit and it's again coming back so we need to find a perfect one right this seems quite good then you can go over to the edge thickness and you can see that the more thickness we do there is a border line coming up right so depending on your clip it would vary but we need to adjust it now it comes perfect like and then in here you can also have the edge feather this will give a uh, kind of softer transition rather than harder transition right and then once it is done you can also check whether it applies good or not so just click on this alpha channel and you can see you are marked in this white one and the other things are marked in the black one so your subject with, with whatever you might be wanting to focus on should come up as this white area right so it's coming up perfectly so let me turn this off and let me click ok and now if we go ahead and actually play this Guys, now you can see me right in this mountainous background, so I'm here enjoying my life and making money as well. If you want to be. So that's quite cool, right? So you can see that I have been able to transform my boring video into a quite interesting one just via a simple trick. Now you must have seen some creators create this kind of videos and you used to wonder how come they do it do they actually travel to these locations and do this stuff so the answer is right in today right you saw how easy it is to create all these stuffs now let me show you how you can do the same thing with another background maybe this time we want an office background so just click on office just search for that and now we'll actually insert a photo so let's go for photo and in here maybe let's check which one would look good there are plenty of them as you can see because it has got integration with pixels pixabay unsplash giphy so all of them are included so let me use this conference room this looks quite good so let me drag it over here right now we'll delete the mountain background so just click on delete and this time we will actually elongate this picture till the end of my clip just like this now if we play this you can see here this is my office right now in any time i want to change the office i can do that as well that's up to me now one thing i want to show you over here that you might see that there is some border over here right this picture is coming up to this point whereas the screen is up to this point so we need to adjust that so go over to the picture just click on that and you can see all these points come up right now all that you need to do is stretch this picture just like this and stretch this picture just like this that's cool now if we play this so this it's perfect right no way you can understand that whether I'm shooting this from office or from my home or from my garden or wherever I want to. So that's how we work. Basically, we have this liberty to work from anywhere because we can just create this kind of magic within him. 
Now you have the same power as well today. After today, after watching this video, you'd be able to create the same kind of stuff for yourself as well. If this has been something that has really helped you, then please consider liking this video and share this with your friends so that they can also create magic just like this. And if you are new to this channel, if you haven't subscribed to me as yet, then please go ahead and subscribe to this channel because in this channel, I do have these tips and tricks on how you can actually make things more interesting and make more money online. With that being said, it's your good friend Shine waiting goodbye from you. We'll meet again pretty soon somewhere over the internet. Until then, please take care of yourself and your families and don't forget to make money online. Keep learning, keep rocking and keep making money online. Signing off is Shine from Review Shine. Take care. Bye-bye.